What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is all about the Microsoft Surface Duo 2. Now we've had the Surface Duo 1, it came out in 2020, and now in 2021, come October, we should see the Surface Duo 2. And the Surface Duo 1 really wasn't a huge success. A lot of people didn't like it. There was a lot of things wrong with it from the performance to some of the software issues to the cameras, the speakers, no NFC. There was a lot of things missing or just not that great about the phone, but it had a premium price tag on it. With all that said, what do we need to see in the Surface Duo 2 to consider it a must buy item and an item that'll be successful with more consumers? Now the Surface Duo 1 product was really considered a business type device for business people and I think that's why some of the things that were missing or not as great were in that phone. With that said, I think you need to cover a larger market of the people that could potentially buy your phone because business people are still probably going to be issued iPhones for the most part or a Samsung Galaxy phone. They're not going to be issued a Duo phone most likely, unless you probably work at Microsoft. So the first thing I think that we should definitely and we will see because we've seen leaked images of this are better cameras. So on the back, I would assume that we're going to get because we've seen this in leaked images, a triple camera setup consisting of a primary sensor, a telephoto sensor, and an ultra wide sensor. And that's what we need better cameras overall on the back of this phone. On the front of the phone, I would assume we're going to get a selfie camera as well. I've got this huge display. Why not give us a really, really great selfie camera? And probably, and what we've been hearing might happen is an under display camera akin to what we've got with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, will it be the best? Will it be amazing? Probably not amazing, probably not the best, but it probably will end up being a fairly solid selfie camera for video calls, for taking selfie photos and things like that. So I have high hopes that they've truly improved the camera system overall for the Surface Duo 2. Next up would be the refresh rate. You have these huge displays side by side of the Surface Duo 2, and when you look at it, it's a pretty big overall view of what you're seeing on the screen, and they would I would love to see, and I think they'll do it anyway, 120 hertz refresh rate on these displays to make the overall feeling of the phone very smooth, very fluid, and just an overall experience within using that phone for gaming, for social media, for web browsing, for you know, whatever you're going to do on the phone. I think it'll create that better atmosphere, the better experience with the phone overall. One of the big things missing from the Surface Duo, the first generation, was there was no 5G and there was no NFC. and you, you you have to they're gonna put it in they have to 5g is a given at this point it's almost ridiculous if you don't find a phone with 5g that's above 500 bucks so 5g will be included in the surface duo 2 as will nfc people play with their phones they didn't have it last time the nfc is used for you know mostly at this point using your phone to you know pay for items at a store you've got to assume they're going to throw in nfc as well if they don't it's really going to be a feature people are going to be like Dang, again, and it could be a selling point where people don't buy the phone, especially with it being a very inexpensive part. One thing I really didn't like about the Surface Duo was the speakers. It was a mono speaker and it you know, wasn't really completely awful and it definitely wasn't completely great or even good at that point. It was a single firing speaker. They're gonna put stereo speakers in this, they have to. Why wouldn't they? This is more of a premium type device when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it. So you've got to uh, figure that they're gonna throw in some stereo speakers to really beef up and improve the sound with the Surface Duo 2. Next up, performance. Performance on the Surface Duo wasn't eh, that crazy great or else it wasn't that bad. It had a Snapdragon 855 and six gigabytes of RAM at this point. You've got to think that they're going to throw in a Snapdragon 888, which is the top end processor currently on the Android side, along with at least eight gigabytes of uh, RAM, if not 12 gigabytes of RAM. I really hope they go towards that 12 gigabytes of RAM to really put this in place and be like a, you know, almost a side by side comparison of a Galaxy Z Fold. Three. Now, if they don't throw in eight gig, 12 gigabytes of RAM and they put eight, you're probably looking at they want to make this a, definitely a cheaper device than the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Water resistance would be really, really nice to have in the Microsoft Surface Duo 
two it's you know it's and at that point it's really a feature that's more of a safety feature if you drop it in water you get pushed in a pool if you drop it in the toilet if it rains you know you feel safer about the phone overall you feel like you can use it in almost any environment and you, that you don't have to worry about it getting damaged or where you'd have to get it replaced these phones are expensive you don't want to maybe have to get an insurance plan and having an IP rating uh, of dust and water resistance is really a safety net. It's a feeling of good overall when you have a phone. So hopefully they throw in an IP67 or 68 rating. If they do, I'm assuming it's probably going to be IP67. I would love to see a big battery in the Surface Duo 2, at least a 5,000 milliamp battery. It was a fairly like skinny, no, I don't remember it being an overly heavy device and I, a big, big battery in this to give us basically all day battery life or battery life that might even last into the next day or at least most of the day is very important, especially when you're considering some of the things that I'm talking about, 120 hertz display, 5G, a Snapdragon 888, fast read write storage, things like that. I think you're really gonna have to bear in mind that when you put in things like that, you do need potentially a bigger battery so that you can use this uh, all day or most of the day or you know, multiple days. I would love to see them throw in a Surface Pen. The, now you could buy a Surface Pen separately, but you again, you had to buy it separately. I would love to see them throw it in with the device. I think it does two things. It allows people to use this as a more of a note-taking device so you don't have to go buying your own Surface Duo pen. or in a, And then beyond that, you also have it as just more of a fun thing. So you can use it to take screenshots, you could use it to color, you know, you can you give it to the kids to play with. There's a lot of functionality in those pens. It'd be nice if you could store it on there. I don't think they're gonna do that. Maybe unless it gets stored in the back or within a case, but I really hope they, give you maybe as a pre-order gift or just allow you to have it in, uh, completely with the phone when you purchase it for free, a Surface Pen. And then a little bonus one, I'm not too much into this, but I know some people definitely are, is adding a micro SD card slot so you can add your own expandable storage. People, you can start, you know, store your videos, your photos, things like that, so that it doesn't take up all your internal storage. And it allows you to potentially spend less on the phone because you can get a, you know, a lesser amount of storage and house the other stuff that you constantly build up, such as photos, videos, and things like that, on the micro SD card. So I really hope they throw that in for people that want it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what I left out of the Surface Duo 2 that you would love to see on there that would potentially make you purchase the phone or make you be more interested in the phone at that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road.